Well, in case you didn't know, today, the 11th of February, is celebrated as International Day of Women and Girls in Science. This year's theme is Equity, Diversity and Inclusion, Water Unites Us. New research from the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, shows there's a gender gap in fields such as computing, digital information technology, mathematics, physics, just to name a few. Let's speak now to a teacher who's been advocating for the need for more girls to take up careers in the field of science. That's Ufense Mulife, a teacher at Spark Runbeck High School, joining us now live. Ms. Mulife, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. I guess congratulations are in order on this very important International Day of Women and Girls in Science, a subject which, as I understand, is very close to to you, what's the importance, in your view, of having women and girls in STEM? I think my, my empowerment when it comes to women and girls in STEM and that science, technology, engineering and mathematical subjects are basically to empower young girls to really cement themselves in positions that males can um, uphold. I definitely believe that empowering our girls to take on these um, fields can only just um, kind of like allow the, the subsiding of any biases and any inequalities that take place because already our youth have already preconceived or preconceived ideas that exist within the society, influenced by the society that says that they cannot necessarily be in the field of civil engineering, be in the field merely of um, you know, the army, the navy, only because of their gender. And that's not necessarily something that they're born with, but it's definitely something that's imparted yeah. in the home, in their culture, and in the community. Okay, what do you teach at Spark? I'm a life orientation teacher, formerly a natural science teacher as well. Okay, so science is close to you. Now, COVID-19 is with us. We're still in the pandemic. Uh, uh, it, there must have been some gaps that have come up. What, what, what have, you, have you noticed besides the challenges of the stereotypes you've just explained? What challenges has COVID-19 brought into this space of science, technology, engineering and mathematics for girls? I think like in any other um, subject, collaboration has been quite tricky um, regarding COVID-19 and what it has done um, in our significant studies and subjects, but specifically to STEM subjects. STEM subjects are very practical, and therefore the element of practicality has been lost. In a sense, um, it, um, school, scholars and educators have lost touch um, with regards to explaining the content in a practical manner, experiments, um, because COVID-19 comes with a lot of rules. You know, We can't necessarily allow scholars to use the same um, Equipment without them being sterilized or without them being um, sanitized, you know. So I think ultimately the surge in the COVID pandemic has allowed the theory part of science to kind of like dominate instead of the practicality and the theory balancing off both um, in both the subjects. So I think for us, really and honestly, the resources have not necessarily been used effectively because of the COVID pandemic, but we are sure and we are using other ways, alternative ways to ensure that the practicality part of STEM can at least come back and allow um, the imparted knowledge to take practicality. Yeah, Ufense, uh, what, what should schools, I mean, uh, like Spark and, and others do, from what you've said, in, in assisting in tackling those stereotypes you've mentioned uh, before and marshalling the appropriate resources to make sure that, uh, that uh, learners, particularly girls, do take on these uh, uh, science, technology, engineering and mathematics-related subjects? You know what, it's already in the curriculum, so I, we can't really mention much about the curriculum because something is being done about it. But I think schools should um, take on the um, extracurriculum route, you know. I think um, allowing scholars to really um, kind of cement themselves in robotics, to explore in coding, to have their own footing when it comes to mathematical exper uh, experiments and investigations and sci scientific investigations and experiments. I think that can play a great part in empowering young girls. I think Spark has played a great role in empowering girls as well because what happens is we have extra curricular activity that are inclusive of coding, which is a very um, male-dominant 
field. You, we already know that information technology is male dominant, but it, it serves it as a club. So a club meaning extracurricular activity that allows scholars, girls or boys, to interact and really learn from what the um, extracurriculum activity has to offer. So already starting on that level, you know, um, empowering young girls and parents themselves. Schools need to collaborate with parents to say, let us not necessarily, let us guide our children, aside from just telling them what to be and what to do in the near future, let us guide them and let let us communicate with the school to say, how can we best advise our girls to not necessarily take on what we think is suitable for them, but what we understand lies within them as their greatest potential. Thank you very much. Ufen Semulife, a teacher at Spark Randbeck High School, just sharing with us some of your views about the importance of science and mathematics in the, in, for, for girls.